Give me sexy cherry, cherry at night. That's the vibe. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your girl from Elio. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to like this video because it helps other people to see the video and make sure to subscribe because we have awesome content on this channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of Tom Ford Lost Cherry. It looks like you kind of focus. Hey, all right. <laughs> so this is uh, the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I purchased it from Nordstrom. Yes, you guys, okay, let me tell you. <laughs> I was on. I was on a work trip and I was not being smart because if I was smart, I would either have waited for a time where Nordstrom was doing some sort of promotion or just in general, guys, with all my other fragrance videos, you know I always give you the tips. Wait for promotions from like these Saks, Neiman Markets, they'll have their promotions where these perfumes will be percentage, a certain percentage off or, you know, all these, they have other sites on the internet where you can get this stuff for cheaper. But no, I was not, I did not think it through. Yeah, I did not think it through. <laughs> and I just ended up going in the store and purchased this Tom Ford Lost Cherry. It was my, it was my first time trying it out and I really, I really liked it. Uh, it just, it smells so nice on my skin. The, the sales associate helping me, she was very, very helpful. I smelled so many fragrances that day. And I, this one really, it was just really nice. Um, and here it is. Let me spray it now as I talk about it. So you, I think you could kind of see the spray. It, it, a lot comes out. Yeah. So it literally, it smells like cherry. It literally smells like cherry. It smells like... Mm, it's just like warm. It's described as warm and spicy, and you do get that. It's cherry but it's not, it doesn't give super like loud fruity, but it is, you know, it is cherry, but it gives like a refined cherry, like a sexy cherry. That's the vibe that I get with this. It's a sexy cherry. This is not normally a fragrance that I would run to. This is not my typical type of fragrance at all. Um, check out my other reviews. I have a couple other fragrance reviews on my channel. But I had heard about this and I was like, let me try it out. Let me see what the hype is about and, you know, let me see for myself. So the price point on this, this was the 30 milliliter. Very expensive perfume, um, you know, very expensive, especially for the size, very expensive. Let me show you guys how, let me tell you guys how much it ran me. So it cost me, because I'm looking online now, I got 30 milliliters, so I believe that's one ounce, so that was 216 plus tax, so yeah. Tuesday, was it Tuesday, one, one ounce or 1.7 ounce? Yeah, I believe it was the one ounce, so right now on their website, the one ounce is 216. I got the 30 milliliter because I didn't, I didn't feel like I needed a bigger one. Um, I just, I don't know. I didn't feel like I needed a bigger one. It was already very expensive. Like my goodness, this is so small. For it to be so much money, I was like, what the heck, yeah. But I went ahead and I got it. So let's go ahead and talk about the notes. The notes on this are black cherry, tonka bean, and almond. I can definitely, the cherry steals the show. Of course, it's called lost cherry. But that almond, you definitely, you get hints of that almond for sure. Definitely get hints, hints of that almond. Even more so, I feel like on the dry down than versus your immediate spray. So immediately when you spray it, to me, that cherry screams out. Then on the dry down, I do get the almond for sure. I, I guess maybe that contributes to the warmness, the warm and spicy vibe or whatever. I don't know. Uh, they said they have tonka bean in there. Do I know what tonka bean is? No, okay? But do I smell something other that could be tonka bean? Perhaps, but I, I wouldn't know. So I'm not gonna, I'm not here to lie to you guys. I'm only here to give y'all the truth, okay? So I will speak on that. So that is just the cherry and the almond for me are what I smell in this. And I really like it. It is a very warm, spicy scent um, in the sense that it just it gives me sexy cherry, cherry at night. That's the vibe. <laughs> but this is, um, this is a scent that I was drawn to for layering. Immediately I smelled this, I said, this would go perfect with my Baccarat extract. 
period. And it does. It does It does go really well with it. Would, is this my, would this be a standalone fragrance for me? I mean, I could, but I'll be honest, this is not something that I would necessarily pick up out of my perfumes and say, I just wanna spray only this, no. I feel like this is just really good for layering, you know, especially with that extract, the Baccarat extract. I just think it really, it, it goes so well with it. It goes so well with it to me, you know, just go ahead and check out the review for my Baccarat Rouge 540 extract. It goes really nice with it. But honestly, you don't have to have Baccarat to buy this perfume. You can use it as a standalone for yourself, honestly. It can be worn, mm, it smells nice. It can be worn as a standalone, but me personally, I, I like it in combination to something. So if it wasn't Baccarat, let's just think of like, um, definitely go test it out. But also if you have like another warm fragrance, I feel like this will add the perfect zest to it, you know, uh, try it out. But I do like definitely like the Lost Cherry. I feel like it's more of a layering uh, perfume in my opinion. I have heard a lot of people complain about the longevity. So let me tell you, for me, uh, I, I don't think I, I personally, I say a couple, like a couple hours. I don't want to, I can't give an exact amount of hours, but it's not so potent on me. This is in no way a beast fragrance for me on my body. You know, everybody is, is going to be different. So you should just really try it out for yourself in terms of how long it will last on you, you know? Uh, but for me, th this one doesn't really last so much. And I, again, like I tell you, I layer with it, but you know, even when you layer, you'll smell certain scents out of the one, out of, you know, the fragrances that you spray. So I wouldn't say it lasts so long on me. I say you could get a good, a good eight hours on this, but this is not, even still though, it's not like, it's, I believe it's called the sillage. It's not something when I come into a room It'll just fill up the room. It's not that, no, it's not that type of fragrance. I say this, however, recently layered with my Baccarat's, like both of them and the oil, I will say like one day in particular, but it was multiple days where people were like, oh my goodness, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? And I, I always heard about people saying that, but it didn't ever happen to me on that level. But I, <laughs> but I put all of them on with the Lost Cherry. And I remember even walking down the hallway and somebody was like, oh my, they stopped me. I was wearing earphones. They're like, stop me. Like, what are you, what are you wearing? It's filling up the whole hallway. Like, what is this? It smells so nice. And I was like, oh, you know, I thought it was the Baccarat. But come to think of it, I did add the Lost Cherry to that. But I'm really thinking it's the Baccarat though. I'm really thinking it's the Baccarat. But I wanted to share that with you guys because obviously, like I said, I layered the Lost Cherry with the Baccarat's for a reason, because I do think it adds an extra something. So it is a possibility that maybe it does, but I'm, I'm really thinking it was the Baccarat's. Um, in terms of projection, uh, no, what? No, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say the projection is high either. I just, I think it, it more so sits closer to the skin, but it does project a little bit though. It does project a little bit. You get a little bit of projection in there. I hope I'm being specific enough, you know, but I just don't want to lie to you guys. This is just for personally on me. You get a little bit. It's not just so, you know, out there, but you, you get a little bit, you get a little bit. Um, I definitely do really like this perfume. It was like kind of a, how do you call it? It, it was a hasty buy. I didn't take my time. Normally, when I'm spending a certain amount of money, I always like really, I do usually do months of research. This one, I did not. I even, not gonna lie, full tr full transparency, I thought about returning it because I'm like, why would I just do that? You know what I mean? Like, again, because, <laughs> you know, you, you can definitely get it uh, cheaper from somewhere else and just if, in terms of like, when, if you wait, for another one of these stores to have a sale. I was like, I should just really just wait for the sale. But I will say what held me on is it does smell really good. It does smell really good. And I ended up using it a couple of times. So I'm like, okay, I might as well just at this point, cause I, I, I used it a couple of times, but I'll definitely, I spray a lot. When I spray this, it's not something I feel like you have to be, well, you could get a headache if you spray too much, but I, I do think you got to spray a significant amount if you want to smell it on you. That this is one of those fragrances 
fragrances. So if you want to smell it on you, you have to spray a significant amount that it might make your head hurt or make your nose hurt at first. You got to stick through. You just got to... <laughs> You gotta stick through it. So somebody actually commented something like this and literally a sales associate had told me, uh, I wanna say it was yesterday, and they were saying that you're really not supposed to smell the perfume on you, that that's how you know you spray too much. But I did express to him that, you know, I really wanna smell my fragrances. <laughs> And he suggested smelling it, especially if you have long hair, on the back of your neck. And he said that it would project toward your nose. So I just wanted to share that info with you guys. So it's not like I'm misleading you guys talking about spray so much you smell it on yourself because apparently you're not supposed to, but you can spray it on the back of your neck. And he said that should help you smell it on yourself. You know, because you pay money, you should you should smell like it. Um, but yeah, I did, I did, yeah, so full sure surgery, I did think about returning it, but I did really like the, the smell, so it's just that now I know next time I would never just do a hasty buy like that. Although I did go there though, knowing I was going to get perfume for the specific reason. I went to that mall and you know, was to get perfume, but I didn't think it through going to Nordstrom, especially when there wasn't a sale going on. You know what I mean? Like, no, I knew I was probably gonna get something. I knew I was probably gonna get a perfume, but no, it wasn't. I wouldn't say this is my smartest buy, but do I regret it? No. If I had the choice to do it again, would I buy it from there? I wouldn't buy it from there, no. But would I buy it again? Um, honestly, you guys want me to be honest? It is a good fragrance, but uh, it's up in the air. That's what I say. I don't know. I don't know if I would buy it again just because I like that. I tested out the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla and I feel like that's more me. But this is still a good fragrance. This is still a good fragrance and everything. But I just feel like Tom Ford has some other ones that I have my eye on. So that's the only thing that, well, that's one of the main things that brings me pause. But would I recommend this fragrance for you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could, you could, you could. Honestly, I feel like Tom Ford has some better fragrances. I personally have, it's very old, but that extreme, I think it's the extreme noir. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much, so much. That's very much my type of vibe, that type of bold type of fragrance. And then, um, you know, there's also the, um, the tobacco vanilla that I recently smelled that I really want. If I could exchange this for the tobacco vanilla, I would. I would, I would, I would. But I, I do like this though. I do like this. If you're in the mood for just something different, but a warm scent that's different, that has a fruity vibe, but grown to it, but still has like that refined edge, I would say that, yeah, you can go to this perfume. In terms of how it project, the, okay, the project, cause the projection is all right, longevity, uh, you know what I mean? But again, you know, it'd be like that on my skin for a lot of these fragrances. But recently I've really been learning I've been honing in on my moisturizing technique and it has made a difference to how people smell my perfumes on me. I notice I'm getting more compliments now um, on my perfume. Like, wow, you smell so good, you smell so good. Honestly, that moisturization routine beforehand, before, you know what I mean? And also like spraying like some sort of oils on your body as well too, it really does help for like, people being able to smell fragrances on you. So that's something to think about. But I would I would recommend this. I would recommend it. Um, it's just very expensive for a small bottle. So I would, I, would, I would say you don't have to get this though. You don't have to get this. No, you don't. So maybe I, <laughs> but I don't wanna say I don't recommend it, but it's just very expensive. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I have better perfumes that were just a little bit more than this, but it's still, you know, it's still like in that same price range area. I don't know, I don't, yeah. Yeah, honestly, try it out for yourself. It's good though, it is a good fragrance. It is a good fragrance, try it out for yourself. It is very expensive for just this small thing, but it does smell good. It does smell good, I will say that. 
Um, and I, I love the Tom Ford fragrances. Tom Ford knows what they're doing. When it comes to their fragrances, they know what they are doing. It is a good fragrance, I will say that. Try it out yourself and see if it's worth the money to you. For me, personally, I do think this is overpriced. I'll just be honest with you. I think this is overpriced. That's why I'm hesitant to really, you know, urge you guys to go do it. I think it's overpriced, but it is a good smelling fragrance. Um, I wonder if they have dupes of this. I'm curious, but I might spray it again. It does smell really good. It does smell, it smells really good. Yeah, it smells nice. My nose is a little bit stuffed up. <laughs> My nose is a little bit stuffed up right now, y'all. That's why I'm sniffing. But yeah, it smells, it smells nice. Mm. It smells like, it's different. I've never, it's, it's a unique fragrance. I will say that I've never smelt anything like this. It's unique to me. So that could be the it factor for you. But let me know, if you have tried this before, did you like it? Do you think it's worth the money? Um, if you have it, do you regret your purchase? Are you happy with it? Uh, though I thought about returning it, I don't necessarily regret it. I do think it's overpriced though, for sure. But I, I really do like this fragrance, especially for layering. Uh, comment down below any other fragrances you want me to try. As you guys can see, okay, the sun is like just, ugh, it's all in my face right now. I'm sorry, you guys. But as you guys can see, I really like perfumes and fragrances or whatever. And yeah, so let me know if there's anything else I should try. Another thing, I do think, is this unisex? And I'm not sure, but I do think that this is unisex. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like this would go good for like a man or a woman layered. For on a man, like if you have like a super deep perfume, I feel like this cherry would add a little bit extra. Uh, like it would be super nice, honestly. So yeah, I do think it could work. It could work well for both people, for sure.